Good morning guys and welcome back to another stunning morning here in beautiful Fiji. It's actually Easter Sunday morning. Kids have just done their egg hunt, got themselves a heap of chalky Easter eggs. So it's gonna be a bit of a crazy day here. The weather is amazing. Check this out. The ocean is definitely calling me, so it won't be long. And I'm gonna be out there, wetting a line or doing something. So I hope you're having a great Easter holiday wherever you are around the world. I hope you're getting out into nature and enjoying yourself. Uh, for you regular guys on the channel, you would have seen a few videos now uh, where I've had a special guest here, Sam, from the Wet Mammal channel. If you haven't checked out his channel, there's a link in the description. If you're into spearfishing, freediving, ocean adventure, I su seriously suggest checking his stuff out. He makes some awesome stuff. But we've been hanging out here for a few weeks. He's a fair bit younger than me, so he is wearing me out like you wouldn't believe. Pushing me to do more and uh, pushing me further deeper, longer uh, with the dive. So that's all awesome, learning a lot from him. Uh, but what I wanna do is share with you now a little adventure Sam and I had, where we shot out probably an hour, 90 minutes out uh, to some areas of reef in search of yellowfin tuna and dogtooth tuna. The goal was to tick off a couple of first species for him. Um, and so we went out, we slept on the boat overnight um, and had an absolute blast. If you guys are enjoying the mix up of spear fishing and fishing, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you wanna see more of. Let me know what you wanna see less of, if that's the case. Um, and just let me know if you're enjoying it because the feedback uh, is really valuable in terms of me producing uh, extra content. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fast forward things for you so you don't have to sit through the boring drive out there and you're gonna join Sam and I on our very first dive on our first location on one of the best days of my life. Here you go. So we've got Sam dropping in on a spot here that I am certain holds big doggies. I'm so certain because I had one about 70 kilo jump out on my stick bait right here. I'm a little bit nervous, but so excited. Let's do this, let's get a doggy. Fingers crossed. Look at that double flopper on the end there. Yeah, we're not messing around today. Bully out the back. Okay, so when we actually pulled up to this spot, there was so much going on on the surface. Like there were bait everywhere, just free swimming. Um, when Sam gets in the water here, you'll see there's so many reef fish just hanging out down, down the bottom. There's bait everywhere, uh, but nothing much was feeding. There was a lot of fish around, but there was nothing much feeding. There was no real activity. And you know, as I said at the beginning, you know, we're after some pelagics here. This is really where we're looking for a, a big dog tooth tuna or something big that's gonna come through and eat that bait. Um, so that didn't seem to be happening um, when we very first got there and on Sam's first few dives. So what I st started to do was just throw around a stick bait and the result, I was obviously looking to catch a fish, but it really turned things on. Uh, so this is the very first cast that I had with my stick bait and this is what happens. What have we got? What have we got? That's a big tail. A little bit more drag on that. Small one. There's a close up for you. Awesome. Oh, 
Yeah, there's another one down there that's probably twice the size of that, just chilling off the back of him. Oh, he would be three times the size of that. Beautiful little GT to open the account. <laughs> we got the wet mammal filming the water release. Here we go. So something to remember in the future for us was me throwing that stick bait and hooking that GT just fired the whole area up. They just switched on. You'll see Sam's very next dive here. You'll see the baits a lot more skittish. They're more tightly packed. So, you know, they're freaking out. So his strategy on this dive is just to hang down in that bait and wait for whatever's freaking them out to come swimming by. Uh, unfortunately, it was right at the end of his breath hold uh, where a couple of big Mackies came in. So he goes up to the surface, grabs another breath, swims straight back down, and you'll see the two big Mackies. You've got the big one in the top left corner and this other one swims right in front of him, gives him an unbelievable shot. And in a true wet mammal fashion, he stones the fish. It's absolutely lights out for that Mackie. He has no idea as to what's just gone down. Nice. Ah, Solid Mackie, bro. Solid Mackie. <laughs> Man, I am. Uh, you just had to upgrade from the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Even my breath's like going on edge mode. Oh. So I dove down. <laughs> I was just chilling in the bait, and as I started to come back up for a breath, these two Spanish just came in and, like, the Spanish aren't the target for this. It's supposed to be doggies and I've done the wrong thing to take the shot, but I just couldn't help myself. It was, gave me such a good shot. I needed it, so bang. Came in from the front or came in from the back from, corner? From around the side yeah. and then like up and in. And the other, the other one came in from the front, so. <laughs> Mate, this pressure edge has got a lot going on. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Wow, I want to start to the trip. <laughs> He's a big dog. <laughs> oh, they're at it again over there. What a spot, man. Oh, and even can like you hear that? that? The bottom is just <laughs> reef fish, like all the reef fish you'd ever want to shoot in your life. Like it's just. <laughs> That's a bloody great Mackie. He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> Is that a blue fish? Nah, it's a red bass. Oh. <laughs> they try and take you straight into the... Oh, come on. <clears throat> he wants that. It's oh, it's an emperor, it is. No way. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, beauty. Dude. Yellow lip. Stoked. Stoked with that. That's the sort of shit you want to do on the flats. <laughs> Whoop. Man. Whoop. Bins it. Look at the colour change. Frothing. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if we switch spots. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, good thinking. Absolutely fired up about getting this emperor up on the flats. Sam and I were just sitting over there contemplating what we're doing next and we saw some birds working and some fish working up on the flats here. First cast in, this guy was following it and I just paused it for a second and he went it and then I gave it a couple twitches and bang, onto it. Look at the lips on that. <laughs> Such an awesome fish. Thanks for the fight, brother. <clears throat> Okay. Awesome. Yoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh, what a start to the trip, man.
So after having such an amazing morning, getting that GT on the topwater stick bait, Sam smacking that big Mackie and then me hooking up on that uh, yellow lip Emperor up on the flats, we decided to just do some exploring, just really take in some of the beauty, go find some new ground, uh, do a bit of recon um, and just soak it in. So we spent seriously the next uh, pretty much half a day, three quarters of the day, um, just soaking it all up. So if you watch my last video where we turned the one spot snapper into a mud crab, then you've probably seen some of these clips. But this is a, a real challenging spot to dive. There's lots of current and it's very, very sharky. Um, so you'll see Sam drops down here on a little ambush spot just outside the current, makes a few scratching sounds on the, the dead coral there um, and brings out a couple of one spot snapper. So he lines one up, takes the shot, spear passes straight through the snapper which then puts it onto the dyneema so it could get right into like a little crack uh, in the reef. So Sam goes up for a breath. So when Sam dives back down to retrieve that one spot out the reef you'll notice it's gotten very 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 sharky. Bulls, white tips, black tips, greys, you know it's on for young and old down there um, and as soon as he takes his eyes off the shark and turns to the reef you know they go a bit Hyper. They go a bit mental. They come in, come in for a closer look. Um, so he does the right thing, goes back to the surface, calls out to me for a bit of backup, um, and uh, and then so I come over on the next dive. So I'm just a little bit behind Sam here, like a couple of meters behind. And having that second diver there is a lot more intimidating for sharks. Obviously, I kept my eyes pointed at the sharks at all times. You'll see that they then hung a lot further back, and so Sam was able to get that one spot from stuck in the reef. Uh, without any trouble from those sharks. <laughs> that is the most mangled one spot. <laughs> <laughs> So while the sharks were that hot on that spot, we moved further away from them. Uh, the best thing you can do when the sharks are going crazy like that is just to get back in the boat and get away. Uh, so we moved to another spot. Uh, this is a different angle on the current, so it's more front on, front on here. So Sam gets himself down on the reef, uh, holds a little spot there, just waiting for something to swim by. Um, you'll see a moo swims by and then comes swimming back the other way. So Sam then lines up the shot, and as usual, Sam very rarely ever misses. He takes the shot, nails the move, um, and this time the spear doesn't travel all the way through, so, um, so it's stuck on the spear, and that then stops it from being able to get into like a small little hidey hole. Um, and so the sharks get fired up, um, they're straight onto it. Uh, this white tip is just mauling it like crazy. Um, so Sam goes back up, um, and then when he comes to, goes to come back down again, um, that shark is all tangled up in the line. Um, it's, you, you know, as much as you don't like sharks, you know, nailing your catch, you really don't want to see him get hurt like this or um, potentially get hurt. This shark is very lucky um, that the other sharks didn't then turn on it and start eating it. Um, but it, uh, it managed to get itself free, uh, got a feed and got away. And yeah, Sam certainly paid his tax on that one. So with the light fading and so much shark activity, we wrapped things up for the day. On the way back, I came face to face with a Napoleon Rass. 
70 to 80 centimeters long. I thought my GoPro was pointing right at it, but it was pointing down slightly. Um, so I didn't get as good a footage as I thought, but these things are amazing. Woohoohoo! Mackie on board. Absolutely stoked. That blood, probably. How good's this? Not the target species, but we'll definitely take it, and that's why it's in the boat. Yes! <laughs> Sick fish. So good. What a day. What an absolute day. Oh, gills are freezing. Oh, that was perfect timing. Pretty good, Sam. Team effort. Providing dinner for us tonight. Gratitude overflow from my end. <laughs> well, thanks for dropping me on the spot. Look at that. Yum. Ignore the squid ink. <laughs> Macro link. We will do some awesome Mackie wraps. Mackie wraps? Yep. Let's do it. Don't get much pressure, I know that. Mm. All right, so we're at the end of the first day. Chef Michael's just cooked up some mackerel wraps and they smell delicious. Just butter, fresh mackerel, some tartare sauce or tartar sauce and lettuce. So simple but so good, you can't beat it when it's this fresh. It's genuinely stunning. Mm. That's so good. What a, what a fantastic day. You just can't make this stuff up. We went for a dive. I shot the mackerel, hooked up like a GT and stuff. We didn't get onto the doggies, didn't get onto the yellow fin, but there's always tomorrow. And at the end of the day, when your belly's full with mackerel, you're not gonna complain, so cracking day. Mm. Yeah.